This is our 2020 Homesteader cargo trailer, 7x14, that we converted into a camper toy hauler. We have a two person Honda ATV that fits in the middle of the floor. Dual propane tanks. This camper runs primarily on gas, propane gas and low voltage. Little TV antenna up there on the left. Radio antenna there on the right. This little generator is what I all I really need for most of the time just to run the power converter to recharge the batteries. I have a Honda 2200 that I use when we absolutely need air conditioning. Gas electric water heater. Locking water fill cap. That goes to a 20 gallon water tank. 30 amp twist lock connector. Below that is the 15 amp reverse plug that I use for the uh, generator. And below that is a television coax. The rear ramp door is where we prefer to be as opposed to the side of the camper. So we have an ARB bag awning, very easy to put out with the two of us. Wi-Fi antenna. That's the locking cap for the water fill for the the other 20 gallon water tank. And a quick disconnect garden hose. Additional hardware to provide a way to secure the, the handle of the door bolt for obvious reasons. It's locked so we can't get locked in. Porch light, camper door handles, and a window with a sliding window and window screen. That's the pantry, we call it. This lower cabinet I call the garage. The door opens to the left, so when I'm outside the trailer door, I can grab stuff. It's about all the storage I got. Fire extinguisher. Little cubby hole here where all the first aid stuff is. That's the main switch for the low voltage. 
That is a 40 amp breaker that protects the low voltage system. Propane gas leak detector. A low voltage switch panel. The switch panel I got from Amazon has USB ports as well. And a switch for the little porch light. Two burner propane stove. Another low voltage switch panel. This switch operates the light above the sink. Corrugated metal for the backsplash. Three inch flexible tubing. That's the chimney for the three way refrigerator. The refrigerator primarily runs off of gas. Cabinets. Back in here there's a GFI 120 volt outlet that when I am hooked up to shore power we can use the coffee pot and the toaster back in there. Eighteen by twenty two stainless steel sink. Bigger than most RV sinks. A necessity to be able to wash pots and frying pans. Again, that's a three-way RV refrigerator. Runs off propane, 120 volts or 12 volts. Very small, little freezer, all we need. The 120 volt breaker box and I have the waistline from the sink passing through the floor of the camper and it drains into the 10 gallon blue wastewater tank the 10 gallon type that has the wheels on it that you can roll up underneath your camper I used all braided lines for water and gas. The water heater's tucked back up in that corner to the left, right up against the wall of the shower. The shower. Thirty two by twenty four. Of course, it's the home for the porta potty. water heater control panel when the gas is on put it in the on position and it lights itself 
Again, it's also electric, 120 volts. This we call the closet. Upper cabinet, drawer, lower cabinet. All of the low voltage is located in this cabinet. Switch panel. Fuse panel. A little bit of Velcro. And a piece of carpet. Underneath that cabinet, the power converter, behind this grill, two 12 volt marine batteries. We call this the broom closet. Seven hundred fifty watt power inverter in there. It runs a little vacuum. That's all I needed for that. A little vacuum. The broom, brush, and dustpan. That's the uh, alpha modem for the Wi-Fi antenna. Stereo speaker. Smoke detector. Twelve volt, hundred twenty volt television, DVD player. I've got a Google Chromecast in it. And stereo television is hooked into the auxiliary of the stereo. Sounds very nice. So I have bunks like this on both sides. The floor is open for the ATV. So, behind these bunks, the water pump is behind this one. Twenty gallon water tank. Storage. another 20 gallon water tank under there and storage and this end is open Mr. Buddy heater we have yet to need next spring I'm putting an RV heater in here I've already installed the thermostat on the wall and run the wire. It's just a matter of getting the the heater. 
So we have two two foot by six foot bunks. Latches on both sides. Little headboards to keep the pillars from falling off. When they're both down, there's about a foot and a half room in between the two of them so we can get out of bed and not disturb the other one. Lots of bed clothes. The air conditioner. Helmet stowage. These LED lights are controlled by the panel by the front door, but these last two have two additional switches. The main switch by the front door, turned on, energizes the two switches that are on this wall down by the bed to where we have control of these two lights individually after we've gone to bed. Max air fan, remote control, little stinger vacuum, wouldn't leave home without it. I'd like to thank everybody on YouTube that posted videos of their cargo camper conversions. I've enjoyed watching them and, and the ideas that I got from so many people helped me with my build. So thank you guys very much. Thanks for watching.